Hi, I'm Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today. And today I have for you some magic. Ta-da! So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Magic Johnson. Watch all, I'm talking about all the Laker action. You hear me? Everything we do, three-point slam, dunk, fast break, uh, defense, block shots, all everything right here. Happy birthday to entertainment and sports. Hi, I'm Michael Cooper. I'm here at Sports Spectacular, and so are you. I want to wish Entertainment Sports today a happy 15th anniversary. Oh, we couldn't do this without you guys. I'm Ron Artes. Congratulations, Entertainment and Sports today. Huh? Like awesome. Have a great evening. Hi, my name is Troy Polamalu of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and I want to say congratulations to sports and entertainment today. Hey, this is Vern Troyer, and happy birthday on entertainment and sports today. Hi, Tracy Broughton, Miss America 2011. Congratulations, entertainment and sports for your anniversary. <laughs> Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today. And we are here for Sports Spectacular. And we're going to see some of the best athletes walking down this red carpet. So stay tuned for an incredible evening. One of the guy that you see every day as a living example of what to be. And, and that's, that to me is the, the, probably the best inspiration I've received from anybody. Here we are with Michael Cooper. So since you were um, with the Showtime Lakers, well, how do you feel about what happened to the Lakers this season? Well, you know, losing is part of basketball, and uh, but the way that they lost as far as the two incidents that happened with Lamar and, and uh, Bynum, those are things that you don't like. But again, you know, the Lakers have had a good run over the last two and a half years, and, it, you know, it's just a sad that we came up short because we've been so spoiled by having basketball in Los Angeles at this time. It kind of hurts a little bit, but they'll rebound. Hurts a little bit. Hurts a lot. <laughs> a whole lot, okay? Let's be frank. I'm mad as hell. <laughs> That's right. I mean, come on, we're in L.A. <laughs> For sure. So what do you think, like if you had to give them advice, what advice would you give them? I mean, come on, let's face it, because I mean, you were a Showtime Lakers. I mean, you were amazing. Well, I think the first thing they have to get a good coach. You know, with Phil leaving now, has created a big void there, and I think they have to get somebody that's going to come in and if not create uh, their own system, at least uh, go with the flow that's been going there. The triangle offense is very difficult to run and very difficult to learn. It takes some time. So probably look for that to go out the window. Um, the Bernard Hopkins is the greatest fighter on the planet. Do you understand what I just said? <laughs> Do you understand what I just said? Bernard Hopkins. Did you see that fight yesterday? Do I? Let's just end on that note. It's really. You want to talk to me? Yes. All right. Come on. Let's talk. Okay. So, I mean, you know how hard you work to be on the Lakers, and you know how hard you guys train, and yes, how yes. how amazing you are most of the time. I, I, how do you feel about the flag that people yeah. are saying? Oh, yeah. what happened to the Lakers? But, you know, what, you know, what I, goes through your mind when they say yeah. that? I think it's cool. You know, I think it's a life. You know, life is um, not easy. You know. Um, uh, like far as Gump said, life is like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get, right? Exactly. And uh, that makes no sense to what we're talking about, okay? But Dallas was a great team. So rather than, you know, um, take away from what they did to us, how they humiliated us, embarrassed us, and took what we wanted, you know, rather than take away from that, you know, we'll just work hard, come back next year, and hopefully we'll see what happens. That's a good way to put it. But don't you get a little upset? I mean, come on, be, be real with me. Okay. When somebody says, oh, the Lakers, I mean, how could they do, you know, don't you no, feel like saying, good. what the heck? It's a good thing. It's a good thing to be humiliated and embarrassed. But you can't win all the games, obviously. Well, it's okay. It's okay. It's a good thing because, you know, on the, on the other side of that is winning, success, you know? What people don't understand is that the loss that we took this year, it was an intermission to success. That's good. So I, I like it. Okay? It's an intermission to success. I love that. Okay? You like that? Yeah. That's you like that. Yeah. Big Blake in the building, man. What's poppin', baby? The big fella here, man. He's taking over LA. So, you know, he the, Kobe the king, he the prince. He's trying to get king, though. He gonna, hopefully one day he's going to get there. <laughs> huh? 
No, he gonna be a clip. I'm a Laker, but he gonna, you know, he gonna take it over. This is gonna be his city soon, though. Hey, how are you? Not too bad. How are you? I'm great. I interviewed you once before a few years ago. You look the same. You haven't aged a bit. Well, thank you. <laughs> I try. What? Oh, I like the tattoo. What's that up? That's a, actually a heart, a scribbled heart from. Um, I did the movie with Heath Ledger. And um, the one that he passed away on, and he wrote an email down and scribbled a heart at the end of it, and that just is a remembrance for me of you know being able to work with him and just how awesome he was. Thank you so much. Have a great day today. Thank you. I know my arm's killing me. Do you want it? Yeah, because she wants to. Yeah. Great, you got the oh, I would hit them. Why not? <laughs> Congratulations to Entertainment and Sports Today on your anniversary. Seven four. You don't look seven four. You're not that tall. You don't think so? No, I got my high heels on. I'm almost there. Yeah, close, but not quite. <laughs> so, I understand you like you're the tallest basketball player ever. Is that true? That's I don't believe. True, no. See, it wasn't true. You guys lied to me. Who was taller? Uh, there was a number of guys taller. Uh, there was. Uh, Manute Ball, there was Chuck Nevitt, there was uh, Sean Bradley. Um, you really kept up with the ones that were taller than you, huh? Well, it's a small club. <laughs> so, Yao Ming. How does it feel to always have people look up to you? Uh, it feels good. Uh, I enjoy it and uh, try to use it to my advantage. You know, it's so not fair because when you're 7'4", and I always thought this, you know, anybody over 7 feet, I mean, you just really have to just kind of, you know, just put the ball inside. I mean, you don't have to jump. You don't have to anything. It's just there. Well, the issue wasn't uh, how close I was to the basket. It was the other people that were in the way that w were preventing me from getting there that was the problem. They tend to do that. I think that's part of the game. Miss America 2011. Oh, my God. You are freaking gorgeous. Unbelievably gorgeous in person. I'm telling you, it's not about makeup or lighting. How do you stay so beautiful? You know, it comes from the inside. I think it's a good spirit. I'm very passionate about what I do and the things that I support. So having a well-rounded, balanced life, I think, really helps. Very nice. And what what do you support? What What is it that you have? What is in the inside? Tons of charities. I was in an accident that left me paralyzed on the left side of my body. They said I'd never walk again. And I spent 11 years in a chair. And so I'm extremely passionate about, passionate about these events because they said I'd never walk. And I'm standing in front of you in heels with a crutch. So I love research. I love giving back. I love give, and giving people hope that things are possible. What did you do that you were able to walk after they told you that you couldn't walk? Lots of therapy, you know, human spirit, faith, consistency, you know, never giving up. I think uh, people lose hope. And if you can really inspire yourself to have hope and plug in the people that are giving back to you and, and just believe that it can happen and be consistent. I mean, you have to put your work into. You know. now, did you do the pageant with I the did. crutch? I did, and I won with the crutch. So I believe we all have a disability. Mine's just visible, you know? So. <laughs> I love it. She did the pageant with the crutch, and she won with the crutch. But you know what? She's so gorgeous. I mean, crutch or no crutch, I mean, I could see you winning. My goodness, you look fabulous. How tall are you? 5'11 and a half. Fabulous. And is this what they give you for it Miss is. America? Look at, wait, take a look at this beautiful, beautiful crown. Yeah. This is Brett Lockett from the New England Patriots and your new R&B slash rapper single Let's Go. Make sure you check that out. I just want to congratulate Entertainment and Sports on their anniversary. So, so Brett, tell us about your career. What's been the highlight? The highlight of my career, I just want to say making it to the NFL has been the highlight thus far. So I can't, I can't complain. Patriot, huh? Yes, yes. Nice. And you also have a singing career. I do. I do. I, I just um, shot my first video called Let's Go in the Dominican Republic about two and a half months ago. Um, just released it last month, well, actually beginning of this month. So, Can you sing a little bit of it? Can I sing a little yeah, bit? Yeah, come on. A few bars. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, here it goes. <laughs> Baby, there's so many things we can do. Set sail with the whales in Peru. We can go everywhere, just you and me. Let's take a trip to the island of Sicily. You and the all, let's hit the museum. Or go to Rome and make love in the Coliseum. Uh-oh, let me stop there, let me stop there. <laughs> so here we are with Tommy Davis. So um, what was the highlight of your career as a Dodger? Just being a Dodger. I was always a Yankee until Jackie Robinson called me up. And when he called me up, I became a Dodger instead. <laughs> So that was one of the highlights of uh, becoming a Dodger. And I'm from Brooklyn, so I was happy that he called me up. And then playing, you know, 
my first game with the Dodgers and winning a World Series in 1963 that we beat the, the, the New York Yankees, who used to beat us all the time. That must have felt really good. Hi, I'm Tia Carrera, and congratulations, Entertainment and Sports Today. Hi, here we are with Tia Carrera. You look gorgeous as ever. Oh, thank you, in my S&M gear. <laughs> what do you, I'm sure the guys here will appreciate that outfit. Um, what's your secret to staying so beautiful? Oh, my secret is staying so beautiful. I don't know, I'm holding it together like everyone else with cello tape and, uh, and staples and glue. Well, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I did. We interviewed some of the finest celebrities and some of the best, best athletes and even some legends. So thank you so much for joining us tonight at Sports Spectacular. I'm Margie Ray with Entertainment and Sports Today. See you next time. The big one is back. Circus Vargas, Circus Vargas. the show and if you'd like to order this show or any other DVDs please contact us on the information that's right here on the screen we've got DVDs on advice from all your favorite celebrities and we're talking about spiritual advice relationship advice and their best advice as far as life so contact us and the information is right here <laughs>